video we talk about the root Aleph Mem Resh in Nif Al. Okay, so let's start. We are doing this workshop like always in this order, infinitive, present tense, past tense, future tense and imperative. Now, like always, I put the starting time of each chapter in the bio of the video, so you can jump fast forward. Infinitive. The general rule says you take the root and put le, he in front. And we do this now with our root and then we arrive at le, he, amer to be said, to be told. That's it. Simply put le he in front of the uh, root and you're done. That was quick. That was chapter one. Present tense. Remember, we start always with the third person masculine singular. And that one is formed like this. You take the root and you put a noon in front. And then you have the reference point for the other persons. Here is our root. We put the noon in front and we read Hu ne e mar. He is told or it is said. From here we derive the other persons. Ne e mar is him. Now we go to he ne emeret in plural hem ne emarim and hen ne emarot. That's it. And now we have already finished chapter two. That's quick. Past tense. Here we go. Like always, the root, and we search for the third person masculine singular. The third person masculine singular in the past tense always follows the name of the binyan, which is nif'al. We are in nif'al, but you must write it in Hebrew or you don't get the code. The code is what you see. Now, what do you see? You see a nun in front of the root. Nun and three letters of the root. And guess what? This is already it. This is already third person masculine singular in the past tense. Now we do this with our root. Here we go. We put nun in front, in front of those three letters. And that's it. This is our reference point. Who Neemar, he was told. If you now say, hey, good, don't fool me, this I have seen before. Correct. In Nif Al, the present tense and the past tense of the third person masculine singular is actually the same. It's a little bit confusing. Um, but hey, this is what it is. Still, I'm teaching you how to get there in different ways because the logic is not the same. But yes, you are right. And from here we take it. We go to our table, who neemar, and we fill it up. And we now read it together. Ani neemarti, ata neemarta, at neemart, who neemar, he neemra. Anachno neemarno. Atem aten neemartem neemarten. Hem hem neemru. So that was quick and easy, and we move on to the future tense. Remember, we need prefixes and suffixes. Why am I saying that? Because for our reference point, third person masculine singular. You will see something like this, two youths in front. Well, if you think I made a mistake, sorry to tell you, no. The first one, the red one, 
is for all persons. This is, comes from le hi, so we have to put that e sound somewhere. This stays for all persons. And the yellow one is actually the one of the third person masculine singular. Right? Right. So how do we say he will be told? Here comes our root. And we read who ye amer. He will be told. We put this in our system. And here we go. Ani e amer. Ata te amer. At te amri. Hu ye amer. He te amer. Anachno ne amer. Atematen te amru. Hemhen ye amru. So, as you can see, it is exactly what I told you. Everybody gets a yut. Then we put the prefix in front and some of the persons also need a, a suffix like at temri with the yud at the end or our last persons here atem aten hem hem. They have a vav at the end. But basically this is it. Now we already come to the imperative. By now you might know already you have two possibilities for 99% of the verbs, which means you use the future tense or you use the, what I call, grammatically correct imperative. Grammatically correct in a sense like this is the official linguistic version. If you use the future tense, well, you just take what we already had and then you identify the persons that you need for the imperative, it is you male, you female, and you guys, whatever. You guys male or you guys female. Um, and this is actually it. Now, if you decide to go for the linguistic imperative, that means for the correct imperative in a linguistic term, the general rule goes like this. You put he in front of the root, this is from le hi, as you have seen in the um, in the very beginning for the infinitive. So he in front of the root. He amer. So this is the imperative of to be said or to be told. And from here we take it and we form the female version he amri and he amru. Hey guys, great job. Thanks for your attention. Remember everything I said in this video, you can read in my books. The information is down in the bio, also the link to Cyber TV, where you can get really the daily practice um, of the language. And I hope to see you in the next video.